Look at my aloe plant. I literally haven't touched this since I went into the hospital. Miss Thang is thriving. They love to be neglected, so these are great plants. <laughs> you don't take care of them that well. I don't understand why you're thinking of I just need to do like a catch up. I just found out how shitty my audio is on this camera and I literally went so fast and bought an external microphone on my camera. That's besides the point. <clears throat> Basically, I was in the hospital and I got out on Christmas Eve. Thank, literally, thank the Lord, like what a Christmas miracle. I was really struggling in there, you guys, and I'm going to talk more about that in this vlog. But to sum it up, basically, you know, I was just going through the process of the transplant. And it was rough. I, there was no way I could have prepared myself for it to be as bad as it was. And it, it's still really bad. <coughs> <coughs> like that video I posted, and I'm going to link it down below. I worked pretty hard in that video considering I didn't feel that good. And I was up one night full of anxiety. They gave me like the wrong medicine in my IV for, it was supposed to be for nausea, but it was an antipsychotic medicine. And it literally made me insane. So I was up I think for like three days straight and I just like edited that video. So once I got home, I honestly could have posted it before, but I knew there was more footage I wanted to get, which was like that last clip. And I showed you like my bruises and just in how much pain I was with my mouth. My mouth still hurts, but it's definitely getting better. The process was a little bit worse because while I was in the hospital, I had this really bad mid to lower abdominal pain. Couldn't figure out what it was. We did a CT and then they finally were like, let's do an ultrasound, like a vaginal ultrasound. And we ended up finding like cysts on both my ovaries. It was nothing like to be concerned about, but, but the fact that like my counts were so low, I'm going, th I'm in the middle of going through a transplant. Obviously it was very painful. As soon as my counts recovered, that, went away pretty much i know i was just dealing with the mucositis and i couldn't take my ugh, i had a really rough like that so the night i was supposed to leave so christmas eve was thursday i was supposed to leave on wednesday but wednesday night i was all i was on all iv medicine because of how bad my mucositis was and i wasn't able to eat so obviously i couldn't take medicine so when they went to switch me to back to iv to pills my body lost it i was throwing up and shitting like just straight green stuff and I hadn't eaten in four days so <clears throat> it wasn't food it was like basically my intestines just coming out profusely it was really bad I honestly have never thrown up like that so then that kept me in there for an extra day and I honestly was like I had no hope at that point I was like I'm not getting out here out of here before Christmas and <clears throat> that's just that I need to accept it I need to just stop like thinking like having wishful thinking basically but yeah I ended up getting out on Christmas it's actually New Year's Eve because it has been one hell of a year I don't feel good but I I've been trying to make myself feel a little bit better because you know I've gone through a lot this year my family's gone through a lot <clears throat> and we just deserve to have like at least one good night but I went to the doctors today. My levels all week have been the same. My hemoglobin, my white blood cells, my platelets, nothing has changed, which is like incredible if you're in this position. Like that normally never happens. They're always different. And they were at, they're at good levels. So that's good. Um, it's actually really good. And I don't celebrate that. You need to celebrate the little things. And even though I feel like shit, I think it's hard to celebrate the little things, but I need to be grateful. Like I'm home, I'm sitting in the hospital. <clears throat> and you know just stuff like that so <clears throat> you know there's that i think i'm day 24 day plus 24 of my transplant and it's it's going to be a long road like i think people think because you ring the bell and you know you beat cancer like no that's just the beginning of all of it all all that happened there was you went through your treatments and now now it's where it really starts um mentally is a struggle physically it's a struggle especially with a transplant a transplant isn't just like when you get chemo in 30 days you're fine no transplant is like a lifelong thing you know i can have side effects like gvhd or anything pop up in five years from now 10 years from now like when i committed to doing this it was a lifelong commitment to help save my life so you know it's hard to explain to people because everyone's like so happy for me and I am ha I'm happy for myself but you know like I went went I did the transplant part I did the time in the hospital but this is just the beginning and the unknown is so scary with treatment and chemotherapy like I know what to expect it's not new to me I've been 
like almost two years now dealing with it. All of this is new to me. I don't know what to expect. I go and take a shower and I can't feel my feet because it's just like a side effect over. I break out in this rash and you know, like I wake up and my pigmentation and my skin is different. So just like all these little things. The main thing I just want is my mouth to get better and my taste buds to come back. Like I can't taste anything and it's very frustrating because I just got my appetite back. So it's like you get your appetite back, but then you almost lose your appetite because you can't taste anything. That's basically it. That's pretty much what happened and now I'm just like home recovering. Like I said, it's New Year's Eve. So invest in myself this year and invest in this journey. I already said before, like I'm not playing around with when it comes to sharing. I want to be as raw, as vulnerable, and as open. The good, the bad. I'm not the type of person that even likes to cry in front of anyone. But this can help someone that's going through this because we're not meant to just be strong and not have emotions. And I often typically think that. And that's just like not the case. Um, you know, this, this year is going to be a lot about self-reflection self and just getting down to my ego my pride and just really reflecting on me what i bring to the table the good and the bad and because nobody's perfect and just really working on myself there's a lot of things that i want to work on myself and i feel like recently i've been filled with so much anger and i just don't want that for myself anymore yeah can't wait for you guys to come along and happy new year Happy New Year. I hope this New Year brings so many blessings to all of you. Just so much light and love. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of like a nighttime routine. If you want to like a more in-depth one, I can definitely do that. I don't feel too good right now, so I don't know if this is going to be like a voiceover. If it is, even better because it can explain when I'm feeling better, like more in-depth what I'm doing. First, I have to take out my magnesium and I'm going to be freezing because I left it in the fridge all day and I'm not supposed to. So that typically, I can run it whenever. It runs for six hours. I run it overnight because it just makes it my life easier. I have to walk around with the pole. So, like this is going to be freezing. I'm going to be cold all night, but it's okay. I'm really nauseous, so... I feel really sick. I'm gonna shower and I hope that that helps me feel a little bit better, take medicine as well. Hopefully I feel better and I can't talk anymore, so. All right, as you guys saw, I got very nauseous and just talking wasn't gonna do it for me. So basically I am just taking all of the things that I need to set my lineup out of the packaging. Um, I already washed my hands before this and it makes it easier and more of a sterile field if I take everything out. Um, you know, prior to putting my gloves on. So here I am just showing you guys my line and I wash my hands again and then I put my gloves on. And after I put my gloves on, I go in and I'll clean my line. Here I am with the alcohol swab cleaning my line. It's all about cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. My line absolutely cannot get infected. I have no immune system to fight off an infection. And this also leads to my heart. So if this were to get infected, it's in my bloodstream and it's just not good. So I flush my line and then I set up the fluids. Um, I pop that off and then I stuck that in. By the way, this is magnesium and sodium um, mixed together because my electrolytes are all over the place. And I begin by just letting it run through and making sure there are no air bubbles. Having air bubbles is a big no-no. You don't want any air bubbles going into your body at all. And then here I am cleaning again with an alcohol wipe, you know, just keeping it clean. And here I am connecting it and opening up the fluids. And so some most people can keep it on like 100, 150. I just keep it completely open because this just takes forever to run. And here I am setting up my medicines for the week. Um, I have tons of medicine. It's insane. I take probably 20 pills a day. Um, a lot of them are immunosuppressants, antibiotics, just things to keep me healthy and things that I need. So there goes all of them and here I am taking them. Uh, like I said earlier, if you guys want a more in-depth tutorial of my nighttime routine with my fluids and just stuff like that, I would love to do that for you. So comment that down below. Okay guys, so I'm gonna end today's vlog here. I don't feel good. I haven't slept in the past two days. Every muscle and joint in my body really hurts. I can't even like get in a comfortable position to sleep. And 
I'm just mentally on a roller coaster right now. My anxiety is really bad. And I'm just gonna end it here. I really hope you enjoyed that random little routine video. If you guys want a more in-depth one, like in a day, or just like more in-depth of a nighttime routine, I would love to do that. Just comment below what you want to see. I am going to do a video schedule, so I'm going to try Sundays and Wednesdays. I'm going to do both for now. Go back and forth with both, not two videos a week because that's just unrealistic for me right now. But I'm going to try to do that schedule and see what works best for me and what I feel like you guys like more. And that's about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and just comment. Let's talk. Let's talk in the comments. I love talking to you guys and answering and hearing your stories as well so talk to me much love sending positive energy and blessings <laughs>